government tries to meet its targets for greenhouse gases. The Energy Secretary, Ed Miliband, announced proposals to reduce emissions in every sector of the economy. Let me announce to the House how we make the 459 million tonnes of carbon savings. This includes plans for a new 30 million fund to get low carbon buses on the roads in the next two years. We have five single-deck hybrids and two double-deck hybrids, all of the ADL variety. But my view of the hybrid vehicle is that it must operate in exactly the same conditions as the standard diesel. They fitted straight in. The, the service regime is exactly the same as the standard diesel vehicle. So the vehicles are introduced into the fleet and they're operated exactly the same as a normal bus. And they proved to be excellent, I have to say. We have no specific extra maintenance for it. The availability of those double-deck hybrids has been probably 97%, 98%. The availability of the vehicle has been very good. Uh, and they just came into service and we never get a problem from them, they're just brilliant. Uh, one of the initial, initial reasons that we decided to purchase the ADL Hybrid was that it came with a straightforward five-year all-encompassing warranty. Which gave us some considerable comfort. As a company, we like to support British businesses. Going forward, I'm confident that hybrid technology is certainly the way to go at the moment. And feedback has been very good all round. The government has been setting out plans, starting with a tour of a green bus factory in Guildford today. This morning, a low-carbon bus drops off some special passengers. You wait for one politician and three turn up at the same time. Uh, and is this the big green push that campaigners have been waiting for? Y yes, it is. And we in this country have got to think long term because we are going to make the transition to a low-carbon economy. Well, what you're seeing in Guildford is new hybrid, low carbon emission buses and coaches, new technologies. So it's an exciting future we have, but we have to plan for it and we have to invest in it. Well, how it works is uh, relatively simple. We replace the diesel engine and transmission with quite simply an electric motor. Why is the technology innovative? Well, we're using uh, the latest lithium-ion technology. It's got a lot of torque, a lot of twisting energy, right from zero revs. And what that allows you to do is make the, the step-off to be very smooth. So instead of changing gears, you have one continuous, smooth rush of power. So that's a very simple explanation of what's really going on. The big news is simple. We've been saying for a long time that hybrids are coming, hybrids are coming. Well, hybrids are here backed by 70 million miles of in-service trials. But we shouldn't forget that the bus is perfect for hybrid because a bus constantly stops and goes. Every time that a bus is braking or accelerating, it's utilising a significant amount of energy. Hybrid takes all of that energy, regenerates it and uses it to help the bus accelerate away from the bus stop. Well, the way I drive them, I just relax because they're so smooth and quiet. I just love them. We do have a good service backup from ADL. It's proving itself to us in both reliability and fuel consumption. I would go as far as to say that presently the hybrid version of the vehicle at 97% availability is slightly better than the diesel ones that we run. They've been very reliable. They've delivered what was promised, 30% fuel saving. The Alexander Dennis Hybrid is a welcome addition to our fleet 
I think going forward, I would have no issue with incorporating more hybrids into our, our fleet.